Bitch. What did Ice Spice say? What do you mean it's out of season? I know muscle left, y'all. And if you know, you motherfucking know. <laughs> this is so stupid, but it's just like, y'all niggas are stupid. How about that? That I used to be getting ready to go to the club. Okay. Okay. Good morning, y'all. It is um, it is a new day. Um, I literally have been checked in with y'all since whenever that was, because I think I was like doing a lot of B-roll stuff, because I just didn't have you know things to talk about. But right now it's 6:47 a.m. Today is November 9th. It's Wednesday. Happy Hump Day to all the working folk out there. Um, I just woke up not long ago, just did my morning routine with my skincare, and now I'm about to quickly wash my dishes 
and then cook some breakfast because I was just too lazy to do that last night. I tell you, they changed the time and um, you know, I was out there like at like five something, but it was so dark outside and I hate that because I'm trying to figure out where to put y'all. I think this will do. Uh, anyway, yeah, they changed the time back and now it gets dark really early and it just, honestly, even leaving my house at that time, like, I don't even want to do this. Like, this feels like I should just be home sleeping, you know? Um, and I was tired as well. So I just ran out there, got some more groceries. I also had to finish braiding my hair. So I got one more pack of braiding hair to do the last two. And I'll show y'all my hair later, you know, this week or whatever, because I'm planning on going out on a solo date. Yes, a solo date. Basically, um, let me try to multitask because I'm not doing nothing but talking. But basically, uh, since my internship ended, um, we all, like the whole committee, we all got um, tickets to Art Tech House. And if y'all are familiar or like y'all live in the DMV area, y'all know what that is. It's like this little virtual like art, like something um it's like interactive and like you can there's like stuff projected on the wall and like you put your finger toward it and it like moves but honestly i've already been there um back in like 2019 i went with um this person that i went to high school with and um i mean at that time it was cool like the exhibit that they had was like a lot of flowers and stuff but about the only interactive part about it is just that thing where like you move your hand and like things just like shift around but it wasn't really all that but anyway i have a ticket a free ticket to that because of my internship so the last day to go because oh yeah the last day to go is on sunday so i'm gonna go on friday night after work just to like you know just do something because I never really do anything now because y'all know I work from home and stuff. Hopefully y'all can still hear me over the water. I'm trying to move y'all up just a little. But yeah, I'm going to try to go to that. And then the, where that's located is like, I feel like that's Northwest or something. And it's like near the water. So I was thinking after that, I might go out like to one of those little restaurants and then maybe get something to eat or like sit at the bar and have a drink. Maybe, maybe meet somebody. I don't know. <laughs> I've actually met guys sitting at the bar by myself before. So I don't, I'm not afraid to do that. But um, yeah, just speak to new people basically. Cause like, honestly, my friends, you know, like they work full time as well. So I really never get to see my friends. We barely even talk anymore. Um, so I don't know. I feel like I don't even have friends right now because I don't even see them. But I know we're all busy because we work. But I'm really just trying to make some new friends. Um, just, you know, from going out and stuff. So we'll see. And then um, when I come back home, obviously it's going to be late. So Saturday, I'm planning on... Um, working on my portfolio now i was already supposed to be working on my portfolio but i was like let me just give myself a couple more you know weekends of freedom before i start putting work on that because my internship was literally six months long and it was six months of me like literally working like doing design stuff and it was definitely fun but i just feel like i need a break a little bit so i've just been trying to get myself some time to like have some free from that because I know when I have to start working on my portfolio it's gonna be really time consuming because like I'm a perfectionist and like I'm gonna do everything right and I'm gonna spend a lot of time making a lot of tweaks and just you know it's just very tedious for me so I know it's gonna take me a couple weeks to do that and I'm working with somebody I'm working with another designer who is helping me like I think I had mentioned that I know plenty of people that are trying to help me with like getting a design job because I've networked like hell but it's the fact that I still have to have a portfolio that's strong that reflects the kind of work that I can do or that a company might want to hire me for and so 
portfolios get tweaked like all the time like even my mentor told me but like i literally saw it one time because i was trying to look at her portfolio for guidance on like how to do mine a little bit but then it wasn't available because it was obvious she was working on it again so it's like as a designer like you're constantly working on your portfolio honestly so i'm at the point where like i have to just do it again and i'm just like you know hopefully this time around i could just get my foot in the door and i know it's possible i know i can do it i know i'm like at that point so i'm just being really chill about it because like why would i what did i spice say Stop playing with them, right? how can i lose if i'm already chose like, i don't even know i think she said why would i lose if i'm chose or something that's a thin fact because i'm already chose why would i lose i just gotta do a little work on the side i hope that's what she said i'm pretty sure if that's not what she said that's what she said to some degree but yeah i just wanted to give y'all that little update while i wash my dishes gotta kill two birds with one stone and you know yeah hope y'all are having a great week um i literally live for making it to the middle of the week there's two days left you know still trying to hang in there trying to keep strong but the only other thing i can possibly say is isn't it crazy working a full-time job y'all like this is my first full-time job and it's actually insane like you only get two days to recover from the work week like bitch bitch that's crazy like it's not enough it's really not enough i feel like all jobs should have friday off or something like that i don't know i mean i wouldn't mind working later if it means i didn't have to work on a friday if that makes sense because it's just like two days this isn't enough like what are we what are we talking about what are we doing like put that in a bill or something because i can't do this anymore like and they want us to do this until we're 60 fucking something like no that's why i'm really just that's why i'm really just trying to keep continuing with my youtube and obviously my business like i still have to put work into my business because i'm not trying to be working for nobody for the rest of my life like that's just that but anyway that's enough talking i'm gonna talk to y'all later <laughs>
You're welcome. You too. Anyways, anyways, y'all. Um, I hate trying to do my baby hairs because they just. I'm about to buy that that edge control that Aaliyah's face talked about because I did read the reviews. They were saying holds 4C hair. I have 4C hair actually. But anyways, yeah, so I was trying to tell y'all, because I was just talking to my aunt, but I was going to tell y'all that I was going to curl the ends, I think, but then all I know is I saw Shinsia with the waterfall uh, goddess braids, so I did them, and I was going to curl the ends. I think she had curled ends, but I just decided to leave them, and if y'all even saw these up close and personal, y'all'd be like, okay, these are definitely like amateur but I don't care because what's gonna give is when I put the beat face on like stay tuned for that stay tuned for that <laughs> but yeah um I'm about to go to Whole Foods right now um and get some pesto because I need to make pesto pasta and like I love putting it on my bread because of Kyra so yeah I want to get some more pesto um I don't think I want to bring out wheat me because it's really just I'm trying to go and come back but yeah we're gonna see because um, it's not even technically that late, but it's literally dark outside, like, it's literally pitch. But, um, I need to get some fruit, but who knows if they're gonna have anything. I just feel like if you don't go to the grocery store in the morning, you're out of luck trying to get good produce. Cause it don't, cause it don't got ran through, but I'm gonna see what I find. Cause I need to get some bananas to prep, cause I'm about to start going back to the gym and I like to freeze my bananas. And um, I also wanted to find some golden kiwi because those are my shit. And then um, I was trying to get the pesto. So yeah, um, I'm gonna just, you know, talk to y'all when I get back or whatever, but yeah, bye. <laughs> hey y'all, I hope you can see me. Um, I'm gonna try to put this light one, that kind of helps. And my freaking camera is kind of swinging right now. Anyways, I just came back home from Whole Foods. It's 6.36 p.m. I can't believe the stove looks like this already. I literally just cleaned it. Ugh. Anyway, um, just came back in from Whole Foods, so. So I got a pound and a little over of some sockeye salmon. Um, I'm so glad I even saw it there because I thought the season was over because I remember like either last month or probably September, I was trying to buy some salmon and they didn't have any. They were like, it's out of season and I was like, what do you mean it's out of season? So I had tried some other salmon that just didn't have the same flavor as sockeye that I like. But anyway, I picked up some pesto. This brand. I'm about to open it and try it. This is the brand. This is the brand. Got this from Whole Foods. I typically get the Whole Foods brand of pesto, but ooh, that looks very good. Oh, I forgot. I also got this for my pizza. Maybe that's what I'll eat tonight. It actually smells really good. Pesto, like I had said, pesto has me in a chokehold right now. So I'm about to taste it, cause I, I, like just looking at it from the outside, I was like, I don't know about that. But it smells really like good. Ugh, it just smells like really good. So I'm about to see. Yeah, I honestly think, so let's, let's taste it. Okay. Okay, that's good. It does say it's different from the brand that I normally get. Yeah, I think I'm about to make that pizza because I don't feel like cooking. I'm going to put the oven on. Like, I was getting the Whole Foods brand of pesto, uh, the Genovese version, and that's really good too. But yeah, I'm about to make this pizza. Oh my gosh, that is about to be so good. I'm going to only eat half of it though because I've... I've ate a full pizza of this before, like on my own. I'm not in focus. I've ate a whole one of these myself. Um, I showed y'all when I had came home from mini golf with my internship people. I ate a whole pizza and I've done it like multiple times. It is so good. I know I'm gonna break out for sure because I even ate ice cream yesterday. I never eat ice cream. I never eat sweets, but I was like, cause my period came. You know how I go. You already know how I go. I just been craving sweets. Like, I guess like your blood sugar drops, and I just wanted sweets, so I was like, let me get it. But yeah, um, definitely gonna be breaking out since I've been eating dairy. Also got some organic bananas, and y'all already know how I do. Um, 
I already have some frozen bananas, but basically I have these resealable, these reusable Ziploc bags that I just freeze my bananas after they ripe because um, I'm about to be going back to the gym, so I have to have my, my things ready to make smoothies and stuff. So, got some bananas. Um, I also picked up two avocados, and I only picked these up from Whole Foods because the last time I got avocados that were actually good, they were from Whole Foods. So I was like, they might be onto something because I was getting my avocados from Audi, but every time I cut them open, it was a shit show, literally. And they tasted like grass, so I don't know. Maybe these will be good too, so I'm going to keep y'all updated on that. But yeah, that's everything I got from Whole Foods. And yeah, I'm about to make this pizza so I can have a dinner. But I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit later. Okay. <laughs> hey y'all. So I just wanted to talk to y'all. I don't know why the fuck I'm whispering. Because <laughs> it's not even that late. It's literally just 8.52. It's not like it's like 12 in the morning. But I just feel like my neighbors are sleeping. And I know they'd be like, who the fuck does this girl even be talking to? Because I know they know I live alone, so they probably didn't think, <laughs> who is she talking to? But anyway, um, I wanted to come and talk to y'all. Oh yeah, I remember now. So pretty much, I was supposed to go to the gym tomorrow, but I honestly feel like I'm not going to go because, um, first of all, one, I'm on my period. I mean, and normally I would still go, but then it's just like, I'm actually tired, you know? So, I don't know, I just feel like lazy, like I really just don't feel like I want to go. And honestly, if I was going to go, I should have been sleeping already by now because I have to wake up at 4.50 to go to the gym for to do like my little hour and a half session or whatever. And then I need to leave the gym by 7 to come back home and shower and all that stuff to be ready by 9. Um, I think I actually would come back home at like 7.30 a.m. And that would give me enough time. Something like that, something like that. But anyways, yeah, I just I just feel really lazy, so I'm not going to go. But um, yeah, um, I'm actually kind of scared to even start going again because I just feel like um, it's going to be fucking hard. Like, it's just gonna be hard to like start over and shit, but um, I know I can do it. I'm just like, dang, like I really gotta start from scratch. Like, I don't got no muscle left, y'all. It's like, that's a lie. I have a little bit of something, but um, I'm really gonna be starting from like ground zero and I have to like break my body all over again. So I'm just like, ugh, like I can't even believe we are here. But the good news is, like, once you've ever, like, worked out or whatever, like, you've ever been active, like, and I used to go hard. Like, I used to go damn near every day. Um, I was dedicated, and I just want to get back to that. Um, your body develops something called muscle memory, and, like, I know I have a lot of that. So, the good news is, if I was one size before, I could get to that, but also exceed that. So, that's what I'm looking forward to. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to like talk to y'all really quick. I'm about to go to sleep. Um, since I'm not going to the gym tomorrow, I'm gonna try to work on that cybersecurity stuff because um, I kind of just like abandoned it this week because I really was surprised that I had so much left more to do on the IBM or IMB program. I was doing a different program before um, and now I'm doing the IB. IMB program I think that's what it's called and I'm just like these modules are even longer and these ones I have to read so it's gonna take me a lot longer than I think so I think honestly that's gonna take me like a good month to do but it's like also need to do my portfolio so I don't know I'm trying to find the balance but um I need to get back into doing something because I have goals that I want to meet for next year so like Time's the ticking. <laughs> but anyways, that's it for the rambling, y'all. I'm about to go to sleep. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow or later on this week. Because we got some fun things coming up. So, yeah. <laughs> Good night. 
Hey y'all, so I'm just eating my breakfast. Mm. Okay. okay, anyways, I don't even know if I'm gonna use this picture as a thumbnail. If I do, yeah, clean it here first. But anyway, I'm eating my breakfast. It's 7.17. It's November 10th. We are almost done with the work week. A fucking men. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just eating my breakfast. I was trying to edit the vlog that y'all are gonna see on the 14th on Monday, but um, importing it takes a while, so I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna just work on that this morning before work, because I did make it to the gym, y'all. Tear, tear. Okay, I think that's just the toilet. But anyway, yeah, so I just wanted to do a little check-in, but. I'm gonna talk to y'all one tomorrow. Hey y'all, so I just got ready really fast. I'm about to show y'all my outfit. I don't have my tripod in here. I'm not even about to try, but okay, so braids are out. I didn't I didn't beat my face like I I think I said I was gonna, but like it's getting late. Like I don't got time for all that. So what I did do was my eyebrows and put some uh what is it, mascara on? Did the baby hairs and put a little ring on or whatever and don't even have a lip gloss on yet but this is the fit just you know long sleeve graphic tee I'm wearing some black jeans from February 21 and then pretty sure it's raining because it was ugly today so I'm gonna probably put my Doc Martens on Oh, it's not raining right now, but it's going to be raining by the time I leave Arctic House because I did things last minute and got a last minute ticket. So my ticket is for 9 to 10 p.m. So it's going to be raining at 10 p.m. So yeah, I'm going to put my Doc Martens on. Let me actually get those now because right now I'm about to go get the food. I'm going to go to New Vegan. And if you know, you motherfucking know. I got the Dockies. So yeah, um, I will see y'all at New Vegan. So yeah, solo night for your girl. I'm so excited because like, yeah, I need this. <laughs> oh, really quick. Got my watch on, my Casio watch from Amazon. <laughs> Scent of the night is going to be Narciso Rodriguez. Her, I can't get this in focus y'all, but her and I also paired it with Vanilla Woods from Seven Virtues. That is my signature scent for the winter. Or Okay, I just, every time I come over here, this shit happens where all like my baby fragrances fall. Like it just, it doesn't fail. I'm literally not even picking that up, whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. <laughs> She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Yeah, hey y'all. So I made it to DC. I'm on Georgia Avenue right now, so I'm just walking to New Vegan. So I'm literally gonna be there in a second. Um, literally took me such a long time to find parking. Um, the first parking spot that I found. Um, I literally could have fit in it and then it was a parallel it was a parallel spot right so I initially like passed in I was like oh I could fit here and then I was trying to get in and then I couldn't get in and you know how it goes <laughs> when like when like um, you're trying to fit into the space and then um, all these cars start coming out of nowhere and like the honking and you're literally trying to fit but it's just embarrassing so you leave so that's pretty much what happened so yeah so anyway um and then i rode and then i rode past it and then um, i was like dang like i really could have fit but it was really just so much stress so i was like i had to get out of there so i'm i parked like back there but like new vegan is over here so yeah but i feel cute y'all see the braids and this lighting is so cute too it's giving like um you know like nighttime vibes so yeah <laughs> it also just feels really nice outside like i'm literally just wearing a long sleeve top and that's it 
and I don't feel cold. I feel literally fine. Okay, y'all just left New Vegan. Um, I don't know, y'all. Like, it just wasn't hitting tonight, like, at all. Pretty disappointing. Um, that really just breaks my heart because, like, the food is not cheap. Like, it was $20. I got a mac and cheese and a vegan crab cake and, like, we're gonna hope and pray that the crab cake actually tastes right because i didn't even taste it yet but i was not satisfied i should have been like yeah can i get my money back i don't know why i don't be thinking about these things like i should just tell them <laughs> but like no y'all like it just didn't taste like how i remember it so that stinks it just didn't taste like how it normally tastes like i don't know what that is about but um Oh my gosh, my arm's hurting. Hiding. But, um, honestly, I'm getting like so much nostalgia being over here. Like, so many memories. Um, as you guys can see, <laughs> not in focus. Anyways, I need to hope and pray that my sandwich tastes good because I'm going to my car right now because the museum opens or I, it's already open but like my appointment isn't until um, <laughs> my appointment isn't until nine so I still have a little time so yeah. Okay y'all so I'm in my car. I'm about to just eat my little food because like honestly when I was just walking down the street like that man that was in front of me was low-key scaring me like I was like what are you trying to do I don't know but um I'm gonna just try to see if the sandwich tastes like something because I actually am hungry like I think that's the thing like but yeah okay no it's not upside down good <gasps> oh my gosh it wasn't upside down but i just turned it upside down like hello i hope the sandwich actually tastes good because like i was really i was like i'm gonna treat myself I mean, i'm just like i don't know Ugh, bro this is a mess and i don't even have napkins in here like hello oh hold the fuck up no this tastes good this is legitimately a crab cake this is a fucking crab cake bitch things that were done that like are you kidding i'm gonna take a picture of what it looks like right now because this is crazy and they got the texture down and everything i'm gonna put the picture of the picture y'all this tastes so good bruh yeah Mac and cheese, I don't know what happened, but the crab cake sandwich. Oh, well, that's that's hitting. Hey, y'all. Just, where's my 
own at. Okay, just made it. Well, I've actually been here for a bit, but um, my reservation for our tech house starts in 10 minutes, but I was just like, let me just come out the car because I wanted to also see if I was going to be cold or not. But this is so cute over here. Like, I want to come down here and do like content and take pictures and stuff. But so let's see what they're talking about. <laughs> yard as they say so hold on <laughs> so i'm gonna put y'all right here on this edge control how about that now i'm gonna just kneel oh you know what i think i turned the ios down where oh here it is wait it's not going anywhere there we go there we go boom hey y'all Okay, so, um, I just wanted to talk about really quick how stupid boys are, um, because, so, tell me why when I was at New Vegan ordering my food, um, or no, I was paying for my food, the cashier guy was, like, talking to me, and, um, he was just, like, making a small talk with me. He was like, do you need a bag and stuff? And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need my food to go because I'm going to a museum tonight, so want to bring my food with me and so uh i don't know why i even told him where i was going like he didn't even ask me for that but like i like told him i was going to like this art museum and i told him it was in northwestern now northwestern <laughs> this is so stupid but it's just like y'all niggas are stupid how about that but um hold on because our tech house says what hold on y'all little intermission it's not even ugh, 
it's not even in Northwestern, it's in Southwest. So first of all, that was really just wrong. But anyway, I thought it was in Northwestern DC. Is Northwestern DC even a place? Like, let me see, Northwestern. Okay, okay. <laughs> So I told him I was going to Northwestern DC. There's no such thing as Northwestern DC, it's just Northwest. But he was like, oh, you mean Uptown? And I was like, I mean, I guess. He was like, oh yeah, I'm from here. Um, I've been living here my whole life. I've never heard of anybody say Northwestern. Like, okay. And then he was like, ask me where am I from? And I'm just like, I'm claiming Maryland. I'm actually from Maryland, y'all. I was born in Philly, but I'm from Maryland actually, because I've been living here longer, almost. So yeah, I'm from here actually, but that's not the point. The point is as a boy, why are you now making fun of me? He was literally like laughing y'all. He was laughing at me. And then on top of that, his coworker was back there and he was back there snickering about me because he decided to tell him, oh, she said Northwestern, like, uh, like, okay okay like now you're really just telling your age right now like you're not a man you're a boy so how about that anyways that's my rant for the night but um i honestly had so much fun like going to our tech house by myself going to this little outing um i think it was a cool night like it wasn't like a crazy night i've had crazier nights actually <laughs> That sounds so funny. It's like, it was not a crazy night. It was just like a little cute, fun little night out. So I'm happy that I, you know, went. And y'all, this is going to be the end of the vlog. Um, I'm so tired. It's only 10.51, baby. The real adults are getting older now because this can't possibly be the same. The same 10, almost 11 p.m that I used to be getting ready to go to the club with my friends. Like this can't, this cannot possibly be the same almost 11 o'clock like when we're about to call the Uber, like take us, like this is crazy. And you know, really quickly, speaking of that, going to the club, when I drove to DC, <gasps> oh my gosh, oh, sorry, my camera cut off because I ran out of memory, but I just deleted some stuff really quick. But like I was saying before I was really interrupted, um, it was just like so interesting to me like all of like the places in DC that I like drove past tonight like I literally was at you know over the course of my time living here it was just kind of like oh my gosh like this is so crazy like it just brought back a lot of memories for me about just different little areas in the city that I've been to like with people that I know and stuff so I was like wow like ugh. I was like, wow, like that was so nostalgic. But anyway, overall, I had a really fun time. I didn't feel awkward being by myself. I had a lot of fun with my own company and, you know, the exhibit. It wasn't crazy interactive, but like it was cool. Like that, like that really big room with the projections and like everything that was moving around. It was really cool. And like, I also liked the room that had those three monitors on the screen and it had like these like, artwork they look like paintings but then they were also like in motion and it just kept going in a loop and i thought that was so cool i was like "Ooh, this must be what it's like to be on like shrooms probably not shrooms probably more like lsd which i would never do but i actually do want to try shrooms um but i need to hurry up and try them because they're becoming decriminalized and like if they're going to become decriminalized i'm just like what are they doing to the stuff? Cause like, I know the weed that people smoke these days are just, it's just not good. But anyway, um, I'm gonna end the vlog here y'all. But yes, thank y'all so much for tuning into my life this week. I hope y'all enjoyed and you know, more videos to come. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.